Well, hello, gamers and possible future Kerbonauts. Uh, this is the Kerbal Space Program. Uh, these are our Kerbonauts who will be our victims or heroes. It depends on how well we can build our rockets. Uh, it's uh, basically a rock rocket simulation. Uh, it works with gravity uh, as far as they're trying to work as a sphere, as a sphere rather than a plane. So you can actually achieve true orbit by falling and acceleration. And they do have the moon that is um, at orbits. And this is all the numbers they use are uh, pretty realistic. So this is a pretty interesting uh, way to push model rocket builds into a simulator and be able to push your dream a little farther. Uh, this is the free version they will offer for download for as long as they can. This is uh, 1.3.2. They do have a paid version, 2. Point, I believe it's 2.0 or 1.2. I have to check on that one. Bad for doing my homework. But you can check that update here. It's $10 uh, US dollars for that game. Uh, it went out of beta. So that's the reason why uh, we're going to right now, I'm going to play the free version. And if you do really like the game, I would advise you to go ahead and upgrade for uh, the paid version. So, and here's the forms if you have any questions. There's also expansion packs where you can get more parts and stuff and different um, rockets. But for right now, we're just going to use the good old basic Kerbal program, uh, vanilla. So let's go ahead and uh, start the game. At the start, uh, you'll see the assembly building, which uh, you can build your new rockets. And uh, these get wheeled out to the assembly, uh, sorry, the launch pad, which stores all your rocket builds. So if you don't want to uh, go into the assembly plant and you want to show somebody your rocket and you just want to show the launch, you can just click on the launch pad. And now we'll have all your pre-saved ships available for launch. Uh, but for now, since we have no ships and uh, we can't get anywhere, we'll go to the assembly plant. Now, right off the bat, uh, you have to choose a command module. Uh, right now, on the free version, you only have one, so that makes it pretty easy. We'll just go ahead and accept that. Now, with right click, you can pan, rotate your view. Left click, uh, you can actually grab the module and move it up or down, or left or right, but uh, it gets kind of weird, as you can see. If you have it slightly off, it starts to, it's not really even. So on complex builds, uh, be careful moving stuff around. And uh, the wheel allows you to increase your height for higher builds and uh, go down for the lower stages. And you can see our stages are put right here conveniently. So uh, we'll just go through the parts. Uh, we have propulsion. Command and control, structure and aerodynamics, uh, a parachute. And these two are empty for now. And this indicator is when you build and you want to start attaching objects around the main column. You can select whether you want two objects to be in line with each other, or f three, or four. You can see the symmetry is being based on the number. So there's six. And eight, and you do that by left clicking, and right clicking decreases the amount. So it's kind of a helpful tool. So uh, we'll go uh, one by one through these. Uh, these are the s liquid fuel booster parts. Uh, this is the tank, which is stackable. So what we can do is go ahead and uh, I could show you that real quick. You can put one on top of the other. Now you can see during the assembly they gave me a highlighted blue ball which I can align the parts to. So if I can get those to the touch it will automatically snap. And you can see uh, you can just go crazy with the the fuel. So we're gonna and if you want to remove the whole stack you can take it from the top and move it. So we're just gonna go ahead and get rid of that and garbage it. 
just want to show you how they stack. Uh, if solid fuel rockets do not stack. You'd have to put a decoupler between each one. You can see there's a rocket and then there's another rocket. If you ignited this, this rocket would just burn through this one right here. So no good. So we'll go ahead and select that stack, get rid of it. So these are the liquid fuel. This is uh, just a main booster. Uh, it puts out more thrust, but it has uh, no control vectoring. And then uh, this one puts out a little less thrust, but uh, the thruster actually moves, so you can have a little more controllability of your spacecraft. And then uh, we have these fuel cells, which work in conjunction with these rockets to help move your uh, ship around when you're in a zero atmosphere because uh, you're going to need these rockets to move around when you're in space. And uh, they use primarily use these fuel uh, tanks which are stackable so you can stack them and you can put your rockets in that. That would be for later stages if you're planning on maybe a lunar uh, landing. And then again of course our solid booster. So we have our solid booster there and our uh, command module. We're just going to start with this real simple build. i uh, going to do something really quick. We'll go through some stages and I'm going to try and get through this real quick so uh, you're not bored to death. <laughs> so here, uh, these are gyroscopes. Uh, they have an explanation in there. Uh, they just help uh, control uh, the ship while it's uh, going into orbit. They help with winglets. They also help control uh, the rockets. Uh, but I don't believe they keep it from spinning once you go into rocket control. It's more for atmosphere control. And I think these would be better off for uh, control for if you were in actual orbit or in the vacuum of space. So then uh, we've got uh, fuel lines here I haven't really uh, studied into. And then we also have uh, a, a group of decouplers. Here's a decoupler for sides. These are for stacks. And this is a, a tricoupler. It takes one stack and breaks it up into three. Uh, so you can jettison three rockets on underneath one column. And this is just for single columns. And if you want to attach things to the side of the single column, you can use these. So. Uh, these are all decouplers which are part of your stages so I'm gonna grab one right now and attach it to the bottom of my uh, craft here so I have my capsule and a decoupler now you can see I have now a new stage which I can move this stage up to this one so when I activate this stage what will happen is these decouplers will activate and then it will release the decoupler and everything that's attached below it. So let's go ahead and go back to uh, a solid uh, liquid fuel. We'll stick that on the bottom. We'll just stick a rocket for the liquid fuel on the bottom. We'll go back to our decoupler and seeing that this is a whole stage. We got the, our capsule, a decoupler for this fuel stage, and then we'll have uh, another decoupler, but let's get a little crazy here. Let's go ahead and use the tricoupler. So we got the tricoupler on. You can see we're starting to get the rocket feel. And uh, since I'm growing in height with the rocket, I'm going to have to move the rocket. So I'm going to left click, control the rocket, move it up, and then it allows me to see underneath it. And then what we're going to do is hit the symmetry key three times because that means we've got the three rockets and we'll grab a booster and we line up the green dots and you can see the symmetry automatically places three rocket boosters equal distance from each other from the center axis and allows me to attach the boosters to the tri. So what we got here in our stages here is you can see this fuel and this rocket and the decoupler the tri-decoupler 